Hey, hey, how you guys doing today? This is the place to be, so come and wash these greens with tea. Yes, honey, today I did a small harvest. I told you guys I got it. So, this is the last, y'all. This is the last harvest. I have not been to the garden, but the garden has still been producing. But I think this is about it, y'all. I don't think I'm getting no more out of here. I don't think I'm getting no more. So, anyway... We have some kale, y'all. This is a nice, soft variety of kale. It is a very delicious variety of kale. This kale, when you cut it up and you cook it, it's like tender, like a um, like collard greens. That's what it's like, like collard greens. This is like a purple kale. So yeah. And also, guys, I have some peppers. Okay, habanero peppers, and I have tons of them. See in there, I was able to pick a little bit, a couple of um tomatoes. Okay, then wasn't able to get much, but I got a few. But I have tons and tons of these peppers, tomatoes. I did get some um some of these peppers. I got um what is this jalapenos. I got a few green beans. These are purple beans. And I also have some green ones. They're not in the best of shape. Let's see if y'all can see that. I know there's some more down here. They're just all hiding in this one. Okay, here's a better one. Like I said, they're not that. I mean, I had to take them off and I refused to just let it go and rot. When you cook it, it's just as good, girl. And guys, but anyway, um, so this was the last watermelon that I was able to pick. But this watermelon, the vine was dead. And see, it's a small watermelon. It's not ready to pick. Could have grew a lot bigger than this. But because the vine is, was uh, dead, I picked it anyway. So I'm going to crack it open and we'll see what it looks like. Matter of fact, let's do that now. That there. <sighs> Yeah, nope. Nope. Yes. Yes, baby. All right, let's crack this sucker open. Excuse me, y'all. Okay. Um, how can I do this? Can you come and hold the camera for me? My son's going to hold the camera while I cut this little watermelon. Hold it like that so you can see. All right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Nope, it's not. See, it looks like it was getting ready to start turning red right here. Y'all see that? Yeah, it didn't get a chance. It didn't get a chance to do what it needed to do. So that's a bus. Ooh, but it smells awesome, y'all. Don't move the camera around. That Don't do that. It smells so good. If you guys can smell it, it is so watermelony. It is very sorry about, about the... um. The taping or whatever. But if you can smell this, it smells good, but it just looks terrible. Yeah. But, um, yeah, back to this. I have, I'm going to make some kale tonight, but I'm going to add it to this pot. These are greens that I had picked earlier in the season from my garden, and I had them in the freezer. So I have a pot of these. I'm going to process and cut, wash all of these uh, kale pieces, and then I'm going to add it to the pot, and I'm going to put some peppers in there, some onions, and some garlic, you know, some broth, chicken broth, and let it do what it do. I don't add no pork, because I don't eat pork. But anyway, guys, just thought I'd come by and share this little bit of harvest with you guys. Um, Yeah, I got out to the garden today. I haven't been out there in, in a while since, you know running around and doing other things, but I finally got back out there, and it was really, it's a, it was such a beautiful day today, so it's like the perfect day to go to the garden, you feel me, so I'm feeling good like a Shebrew should, and um, yeah guys, I will see you a little bit later, it's a short video, just something, you know, anyway, hope you enjoyed my harvest, I did, alright, shalom, shalom, peace everybody.